Hey, it's Coma Comics here. Um, doing a little recorded haul video. Might be uh, chopped up because we're going out to lunch soon, but I wanted to get started. So I got three packages in the mail. And this one, I don't know if you can see that. Looks like this one came from Jean Grey. Probably not the actual Jean Grey. This is actually an eBay purchase of which I am super excited because I hope it's the, the EJ, eBay purchase I'm thinking of, not the other eBay purchase. But anyway, I got one eBay purchase on the way and one here. I hope the one here is the one that I think it is. It looks like he took one of those bags for a slab and wrapped the box in it, which is pretty cool. I opened the envelope ahead of time because I didn't want to waste too much time, but this one is super well wrapped, which it should be because it was an expensive book. Oh, good. This guy knows how to package. Look at that. You know, there's one book and it's inside all that cardboard. Like, all right, I like this guy. This is a book I've wanted for a long time. It is part of a series of one in 25 variants. Um, and I had three of them. It's a five issue series, but as I discovered, they didn't make a variant for issue four. They did a 1 in 25 variant. They didn't do a 1 in 25 variant in this style. No pull. Oh, yes, pull tabs. Oh, my gosh. It's like the best. Dude, I'm going to shout this guy out, man. He knows his comic books or she knows her comic books. It did say Jay Gray, so who knows. Yeah. So, this series, TIE Fighter, was really, really good. And this gentleman by the name of Jeff Langevin did the covers, um, the 1 in 25 character variant covers. Yeah, in about five minutes. Told you. So I'm going to show this off, then I'll pause and I'll record more later. So here's issue one, featuring Eureka Quell, I believe is her name. Um, Eureka Quell, yeah. And I mean, I just, I just think these are fabulous. Issue two, which is a rebel pilot, uh, Wild Lark. I can't, I'm gonna read the names backwards. Yep, Will Lark. And this is the one that I just got. Oh, that. Chas, not Shattuck. And yeah, I. This is a long time ago that I, uh, that I got the originals, and this one looks like it's just as good condition. This one cost a bit, like, you could find him for like 50 or 60, um, 50 or $60 for, uh, what's it called? Buy it now, but this one was an auction and it went up, it went up quite a bit. Luckily I sold a book for about the same that I purchased this for and that book only cost me $2. And there is issue five. Kairos, I believe. Yep. I'll accept that pronunciation. So anyway, it's a really good series about a group of um, TIE fighters, uh, pilots, and um, and rebel pilots kind of going at it. It's a fun issue written by Jody Hauser, who writes some really, really, really good um, Star Wars books. And issue four did not have a 1 in 25 in this style. So I actually completed this set and I'm super, super happy about that. Let's look at one more. This is from Who That. There was one book in here that I wanted. The rest of them just came along with the ride and will probably be resold because sometimes that's how you do, you know? You gotta get some books you don't want to get some books you do want. Well, this one obviously is packed well because it's who that, and so we know that he knows what he's doing. But let's take a look at the books anyway. Open up that, take the books out, and uh, oh, is this, um, Sorry, this one's not Who Dad. This is Geeky Dad. My bad. Geeky Dad also knows what he's doing. Um, I ended up paying like super cheap for this. Shipping was more than the actual uh, <laughs> than the actual books, but I can't remember to tell you the truth what book I even wanted here. So let's see. I got this nice David Nakayama Nightblend. Um, 
not super interested in that. I'll probably sell it, but it's cool to have from the Heroes Reborn storyline. We've got this DC Future State. Definitely not interested in most things DC, though I am interested in a few things. I don't know the artist on that. That's the artist on this. Whatever. Um, oh, this is why I got it. Yeah. I'd never seen this particular uh, variant before. This is a War of the Bounty Hunters variant, I believe. And I'm just like, that's super cool. Probably looks like a connecting variant. So that's what I paid the money for. Um, not for <laughs> Ninjak and not for Batman 509. I think some of these were just throw-ins too. So yeah, some of these will definitely be uh, recycled through either selling back to half price or in my own box. Um, but that Star Wars one was certainly the book that I was after. So shout out to Jean Grey and shout out to Geeky Dad. And I'll be back in a little bit with the rest of the haul. All right, I'm back from lunch. Had a yummy time at the Indian buffet in town, Gateway to India. Let's continue. The last one was Geeky Dad. This one is Who Dat for sure. And there is one Champions uh, book in here. I believe it's Champions that I hadn't seen before. I did not think I owned. And so, therefore, I wanted it. And of course, just like the last two packages, this one is packed perfectly. And like I said, I expected um, Geeky Dad to pack perfectly. I did not have any expectations for uh, eBay, but that one is packed perfectly. And this one is packed perfectly. So let's see what we got here. Okay, tape in the garbage, here we go. Black Panther number one from the intergalactic uh, Kingdom of Wakanda. And this is uh, Black Panther in space, basically, in the future. Was uh, I've had that before, I've sold that before. Don't necessarily want that. I uh, got this Edge of Spider-Verse 3, Night Spider. I've got a few of these. Um, I think I've got the Aranya one, but again, not two into that this is what i wanted is this was uh from i guess technically the third one on champions uh they called it champions outlawed but outlawed was just the name of the arc for the first three or four issues um and i did not have this variant and then this variant i did not have and this was actually went for a bit of money um originally so i, I never got it when it came out it was kind of Hard to find. Oh, this is second printing, I guess. Um, hard to find, hard to get. I'm a big Kamala fan. I'm a big Champions fan, so I was happy to get that. So shout out to Hudat for that. And let's see. Went to uh, Half Price a couple times over the last few days. Uh, got a few books here. Oh, I need to get a bag on that. Waiting for bags and boards to come in the mail. The Closet, number one, by James Tinian. Don't know anything about that, but I mean... We know he's pretty good at horror, so <laughs> we'll try some James Tinian stuff. Uh, Where Monsters Lie, number one. Don't know much about that, except that Kyle Starks is a good uh, creator. We got two copies of Blue Book, number one. Um, again, by James Tinian. The Unkindness of Ravens. Picked this up for $3. I don't know what printing this is or anything, but... I heard that was a good book. I like to read number ones of Indies and see if there's series that I want to get into. Um, I don't know. This one's got two ticks on it. I probably shouldn't have paid anything for this. But anyway, uh, She Could Fly, issue one, first printing. I've got uh, 50 cents on that. got to get that sticker off soon. Many Deaths of Layla Star. This is uh, a series that I am really interested in reading, and I've got a few issues of that. This is one I overpaid for because it was a $6 um, cover price, so it was $3 at half price. Uh, just because I've got so much of the Warrior Nun um, Ariala, I decided 
I'll go ahead and get Warrior Nun Dora just to add to my Warrior Nun collection. It's just silly things I do. Um, loved this. Dave, this might be my favorite David Nakayama um, cover. Look at that. Look at that. It's from a series called Grounded. I don't know much about it, but oh my god, look at that. And then uh, another one from David Nakayama. Not as big a fan of this one, but it's not bad. Just don't love it the way I love the last one. All right there is Vane from Oni Press. Don't know anything about that. And finally, I found, not finally, get one other thing. Uh, I found Nomen Omen number one which uh is something i wanted to pick up as well so just a bunch of number ones to read um nothing major crazy there uh but you know i got the time in the summer to read the last thing i got that i want to point out though is this uh not a fan of dc bombshells at all but uh for five bucks i'll take a comic book box because even the the plain white ones cost more than that tape the lid oh, stupid that tape's gonna pull off the design i just realized they taped the lid so anyway pretty excited to get a comic book box for five bucks uh i'll take that any day because even the plain white ones cost like 8.99 or something and the imprint ones are like 14.99 so pretty good with this and uh that's all i got so thank you very much shoot that and geeky dad and until next time check out tomorrow there will be a uh Full Run Friday episode uh, coming up that I'm going to record right after this. Thanks, guys. Take care.